Uh, my name is Joseph Mwaura, the technical officer from Kenya Rain Water Association. We are in Laikipia and we are in one of our project sites. This is uh, Laikipia East and this is a farm pond under construction. After excavation, the farm pond is lined and then this masonry wall is put to help uh, hold uh, the dam line steadfastly on to the farm pond. And then we have the roofing structure which is metallic, which is put as part of the roof and then the net will be put. So this farm pond is still under construction and already we can see it has have harvested some uh, water. So we thought of coming and to monitor the process of uh, the construction. And after uh, collecting the rain, this water will be used to farm. You can see this farmer already has his farm ready and he has a raised tank up there whereby this water will be channeled to before it goes to the farm. So we have more than 70 of this spread in Laikipia County and farmers are getting a lot of benefit from this rainwater. And now we will uh, listen to the beneficiary, Mr. Jonathan, as he tells us what are the benefits he expects to get from this uh, structure. And Jonathan, you are so much welcome. Karibu. Uh, Santi Sana, yes. Mr. Joseph. Yes. yes, my name is Jonathan Jamo. The farm itself is called Menora Greens. It's an organic farm. And uh, due to the challenges of water and uh, this area, the, the dry weather, we decided to find out ways of how water can be harnessed. And that's when we came through the internet. We found out about Kenya Rainwater Association. And uh, one of the challenges that we have had is even though there is rainwater, it's not adequate enough for continuous farming. Yeah. And uh, what we have noted also through the demand of agricultural produce, we need also to be consistent. And uh, using also metered water can be very expensive. So we decided that we should put up a dam so that we can be able to have water consistently, consistently because when it rains, all that rain gets lost and from the terrain as you can, it's hilly and we saw that there's a lot of water which was going downstream. So when we approached Kenya Rainwater Association, um, they gave us the instructions of how to dig the dam and how we gave measurements and we got somebody who had also knowledge on, on digging the dam and we started the project. And what we are anticipating is once we finish the construction of the project, thousand liters, we'll be able to harness all the water. From, apart from the rainwater, there is a trench as well that will bring water into the dam. the two acres and also be able to extend it extend it so that we can have produce throughout the season ah yes. very nice yes. so would you encourage more people like in your neighborhood to take up similar project ah yes i, I would definitely would encourage because uh, this area of like is yeah. very dry and uh, judging from what happened even last the last, in fact, people around here are saying like the last three seasons, the products have not been doing well because of lack of water. And also the metered water that um, comes from a place called Nairutia is also a bit expensive. Oh. So I would recommend, uh, even though it's small ponds, they should take up projects like such as this so that they can have consistent water. Ah, thank you so much. And uh, have there been a few who have already shown interest or say like come here and see what you're doing have you seen any interest yes 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 <laughs> yeah. the people who have come and even from the, around the town they see from the road what is happening here so they ask what is that yeah so when they come they see what is being done and they're like hey we need to put that so hopefully they are serious and yeah and i can see from what you are growing in your garden it's like commercial farming 
yes it is it is